I probably don't need to tell you, but here in the UK, as well as the rest of the world, we are experiencing some of the highest levels of inflation for a generation. For many households, this means we have to be a bit more stricter and reserved on what we buy and how much energy we use to help us get by these difficult times. Now, on the topic of energy, the government have announced their final 15 billion support package to help households tackle this rapid rise in energy bills, which is expected to further increase in October, with Ofgem, the energy regulator, stating that typical household energy bills will likely rise by a further £800, pushing the average household energy bill to £2,800 a year. So let's understand what support is available to us. I'm Kozan from Financial Manners, helping you be better with your money. So there are a number of packages in the announcement that took place on the 26th of May to help support households through this energy crisis. And the amount of support you are eligible for will depend on the household. Now, the first item is a £400 energy grant, and this is applicable for all households. Now, originally, this was set to be a £200 energy loan, which households would have to pay back over the course of the next five years. Now, that plan has actually been scrapped, and instead, the amount of the grant has actually doubled to £400, and this does not need to be repaid back to the government. Now, this is available for all households, and although it doesn't cover the cost of the increase that Ofgem has predicted, it definitely does help ease the pain. Moving on to the next items. Now, these are only available to specific households, which have been identified as vulnerable groups. So pay close attention to the eligibility criteria for these options. Now, the next one is a 650 pound grant, and this will be applicable for households on means tested benefits. So this accounts for 8 million of the lowest income households here in the UK, and they will receive £650 in their bank account in two instalments, one in July and one later in the autumn. If you are eligible for this, this will bring your total support package to £1,050 if we include the £400 grant I mentioned earlier. To be eligible, you have to be receiving means-tested benefits in July. This includes universal credit, tax credit, pension credits, income support, and others which I'll list for you now. Next is a £300 grant for pension households. This will be a booster on those currently receiving the government's winter fuel payment, which is another support scheme to help cover the costs of the energy bills during colder months. Anyone on this scheme will be given an extra one-off boost of £300 this autumn, and to be eligible for winter fuel payments, you need to be born on or before the 26th of September 1955, and if you happen to claim pension credit too, you may also be able to receive the before mentioned packages as well, which could see your total support package be up to £1,350. And lastly, there is a £150 support for those receiving non-means tested disability benefits. This will impact one of the 6 million individuals who are disabled and receive non-means tested disability benefits. This includes the disability living allowance, personal independence payments, attendance allowance, Scottish disability benefits, and more which I'll list for you now. If you fall into any of these categories, you'll receive a £150 boost in support. So that is all of the packages available. Let's summarize them quickly and I'll mention how these methods actually get paid to you. One note is that for all of these schemes is that you don't have to do anything. All of these payments will be made automatically in some shape or form. So you don't have to do anything. So to summarize, the first one is £400. Now this is available to all households and it will be credited to your energy account in October. Prepaid users will receive their money via a smart meter, voucher or by check. The second is £650 and this is eligible for those that receive means tested benefits. And the way you receive these is that the Department of Work and Pensions will make two lump sum payments, one in July and the other in autumn to your bank account. The next one is £300, and this is for pension households who currently get winter fuel payments. The payment will be made part of your winter fuel payment package. And lastly, £150, and this is for those that receive non-means tested disability benefits. There will be a one-off payment that occurs in September, and this will be to your bank account. Cool, so that is all of the packages available. I hope that was made clear. If you do have any questions, do let me know in the comment section down below. All in all, it will be interesting to see how this crisis unfolds. 
Although it is great to see that some support is given to households to help manage the rise in energy costs, these measures are not sustainable and for many households the support will not even be able to cover the £800 average increase that Ofgem has predicted. Autumn and winter months will be painful for many households and I would encourage all households to look at what they are spending and see any opportunities to make any cutbacks and savings. I'll put some resource links down below on some helpful tips that you can do to help you through this exercise. Cool, so that is it for this week's episode. If you do have any questions, do let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, if you did find this video incredibly useful, I'd appreciate it if you smash that like button. That does wonders for the growth of my YouTube channel as it does help the algorithm. And remember, I release a video every single week. So if you wanna keep up to date with those, hit the subscribe button too. See you later, bye.